Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold. Today we will finally be taking on the 7th gym in the region. This is the Mahogany City Gym. Well, it's, it's not... Is it Mahogany Town or Mahogany City? It looks more like a town. I guess it could be a town or a city. I don't know. A city in Pokemon dictates like 20 people, so... I don't know, but... We will be taking on the Ice Gym of Mahogany. And I am still amazed at how much they can fit inside these tiny buildings. I mean, this all has to be underground or something. Even though there's no stairs. But this is the ice gym. Everyone here uses the ice type, like this Snorunt. This is not a Snorunt, this is a swine up. What am I doing? Redo. Hello everyone, we're finding a swine up. We were finding a swine up. This is going to be a magneton heavy gym. There it is, it's getting up to level 41. I'm gonna tell you right now, this video would be a lot longer than it already is. I actually had to fight Price like three times until I could actually beat him. But since the first two battles dragged out for a long time until we were both down to one and then he would take out my last Pokemon, no matter what, that both of those were like 20 minutes each so this episode would have been like an hour long even if I shortened it so I went ahead and just cut those two out just like they never happened so the third battle is all you're gonna see and that's all you get and if I hear anyone complaining about oh you said you weren't gonna skip battles where are you skipping these battles I'm not skipping them I'm omitting them they did not happen they never happened, and I don't remember them happening. They never happened. So, we're just going to continue to fight these people. For some reason, you will never find skiers or snowboarders or the like in Johto, except for in this gym right here. And they got things like snow runts and seals and deli birds and... All oh, those fun, crazy things. Look at that deli bird. Look at it. Look at it. You just want to touch it. Touch the deli bird. But yeah. We're just going to go through here. Steel and electric. This is going to just be great. We still have Blaziken waiting. Torterra to take on the partially water ones. Staraptor with its close combat and its high speed can come in and beat something and then get knocked out. Um, for alligator, I'm hoping that its water abilities will help it resist ice type moves. And Espeon with its Power Gem can hopefully do some damage to Ice types. So, let's get down to business. We got this pile of swine here. Ooh, we're just gonna magnet bomb it. I don't know why I did not br I did not yawn at all all day until I started making videos, and then I started yawning a lot. I got really thirsty. And then when I got done recording, right when I hit the stop button on the recorder, I would be completely awake and not thirsty anymore. I have no idea what's going on. This is just kind of weird. But now we got a Jinx. We all know how fun Jinx are. Stupid Ariana. I hate your Jinx. Let's see here. There's the Jinx. Hopefully we can crunch this thing. And get it over with. Please don't sweet kiss. Okay, it's gonna body slam. Thank you, no paralyzation. Oh, happy day. And one crunch kill. Why couldn't that have happened before? That would have been so convenient. Oh well, we took care of the snowboarder. And now we got that guy up there. That girl over there. We gotta battle her. Let's see her. She's... Probably gonna have like a seal or a celio or something. Oh, nope, a uh, snover. Okay then. Let's see. Snovers are weak against 
against fire. <laughs> or flying. Well, I don't. I don't know if does ice resist flying or are they just neutral to each other? I'm not sure, but snow versus down, and now we've got a glacion. Oh jeez. Okay, this this might turn out to be a problem. All right, we can do this. It's just a glacion. We can handle it. Go up there, and either blaze kick it or double kick it. I don't care which one you do. Probably go double kick because it's got a better accuracy. I have no idea what Glacian is capable of in this game. Ice Fang, okay, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. I would have given it Ice Beam or something because Glacian are a lot higher in special. Alright, now you must go. And. What? No! You can't have first power! What? And a critical hit? What the hell? Glaceon, you dick. You're you're not fair. You can't take me out like that. Hurry up and apologize before Espeon here has to beat you hard. Remaining silent. It makes the people worry. <laughs> Come on. Power gem. Or did I go with um, the, the, the. Nope, I went with power gem. Okay. So Glaceon is down. And. Let's see here. Not gonna teach last resort. Alright. Glalie. This thing is now rock and ice. They changed it so it's part rock type because its Pokedex entry says that it is like a rock covered in ice, so that's what they made it. A rock covered in ice. Sorry, I was quiet there for a minute. That kind of zoned out. I forgot. It's a holy crap, a head smash. Well, thank you for not only knocking me out, but knocking yourself out, wasting the experience, you jerk. Oh well. Jill is down, and we get to take her money. And off to the Pokemon Center. I think there's one trainer left to battle, and then we get the price. Or we'll just get the price, I don't know. Let's heal everyone up. Definitely gonna need Blaziken for this one. Do, 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 do. Let's go, Magneton. I should really switch out into Blaziken for first. Either Blaziken or, um, uh, Staraptor for first, because if it's an ice team, it's probably gonna start out with, um, Obama Snow to put up the snow warning. And just gonna, you know, go around in a circle for no reason. I don't know why, but I can never figure out these ice problems on the first go. Alright, we got this guy. We got this guy. What is this guy gonna do? He is going to use a snezzle. A sneezle. I don't know, I just said snezzle to piss everyone off. I know it's a sneezle. Question is, why doesn't he have a Weavile? He could have evolved it by now. Just saying. And come on, use the discharge. There you go. I did toy with thought of evolving Magneton before this video, but then I decided, eh, Magneton needs some more screen time before it evolves into Magnezone. Besides, it took that Sneasel down easy. Alright, hopefully, this. Ooh, a Celio. Okay. This will hopefully get Magneton up to 44. That'll be a pretty good level to fight Price at. So now let us 
go forth. Yep, level 44. Okay, now we can go ahead and take on Price after we get up to him and battle him for this first time. Yep, see? Not only is... I, I just magically moved my Magneton into a Blaziken and didn't even show you. That's just how good I am. And there's the Obama Snow. Now, Blaziken, I know I've asked a lot of you in the past, but could you please just this once hit the blaze kick? Yes, there you go. Okay. And... Alright! Woo! Obama Snow is down! Now what? I gotta see what's coming up next. It will be... A Dugong. Okay. Time to switch out for Magneton. Because Dugongs are annoying, but they're water types, so lightning will help to take it out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And it's not done. Okay. Well, it looks like it's gonna get a Hyper Potion or something on the next turn, so I get a free hit on it. I can't believe that surfed it that much to Magneton. That's just kind of crazy. See, yep, there's a Hyper Potion. And then I can hit it with a Discharge, and then I'll hit it with another Discharge on the next turn, and it'll be down. So, in all, it only got one hit on me. That's fine. So, oh jeez. And Mamoswine. Oh, why did I not see that coming? Alright. A smart trainer would switch out. I'm going to do that. And because I know there's the threat of Earthquake, I'm going to switch out into Star Raptor. And decrease its attack. And it's going to White Herb. Yes, I avoided the Earthquake. I call that being pro. I'm just kidding, I'm not pro at all. It's just a lucky guess. If you're gonna send a ground in on an electric type, what do you think they're gonna use? That's just common sense. <laughs> it was gonna use Ice Shard! Oh well. Star Raptor did enough. Took Mammoth Swine down by about half. And now we're both 5-5 five, five because I still haven't knocked anything out yet. And there's the double kick. One kick. Two kick, red kick, blue kick. And my swine is down. That makes it 5-4. Blaziken gets a level. And hopefully a speed boost. Come on, get this. There we go. Now it's even faster. But he's probably going to send into the Dugong. Yep, so time to switch that to Magneton again. This will make it 5-3 unless somehow he outspeeds me and knocks out... Magneton. Nope. Magneton did the trick. Alright. Almost level 45. Wow. Magneton, you were just... You were just leveling up like nothing else. Alright, we're gonna go back into Blaziken, because rock and ice will be quadruple weak to fighting. So, we'll double kick it. There's the one kick. And a two kick. Now, hopefully, that'll take it out in one. One shot, one shot. No, no, you. You terrible, terrible, evil little head. It's it's a floating head. How is that not creepy? And now I'll just slash it. That could have been pretty dangerous if he had switched out, because then it would have missed whatever the next Pokemon is. But I'm pretty sure I know what the next Pokemon is. It is going to be... Actually, is he on his last Pokemon? Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh no, got two left. We got the Lapras. And then one more. Not gonna reveal it. Not going to save what it is, but I'm going to take down the Lapras. With Magneton. And it's got Thunderbolt. Yeah, because that's that's all fair. Yeah. I should just be a jerk and revive Star Raptor and bring it in. <laughs> I brought you back so you could get Thunderbolted. I hope you like it. 
Alright, we lowered its defense, even though that's really not gonna do anything for us. We need to get rid of this Lapras, and then get on to the last one, and win, and be done. Braligator fainted. I think I've stated this before, but it's a good thing this is not a Nuzlocke, or I would have been screwed a long time ago. Come on. Oh, come on. The discharge should have taken it all the way out. That was... That wasn't fun. Oh, Parish Song. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I don't think you'll be lasting another three turns, so... You get a premature Parish. Because Discharge has your name on it. And the Lapras is down. One more to go. And Magneton hits 45. Well, aren't you just overpowered? Not really overpowered for this point in the game, but overpowered compared to the rest of the team. And the last one is a Frost Last. This is going to be interesting. I'll go with Blaze again. Hopefully one Blaze Kick will take care of it, because if it doesn't, this Frost Last will probably kill me. Actually, that's that's a lie. I've still got Torterra to use Bite, even though it'll probably be outsped and get iced on and a whole lot of bad things. And Shadow Ball almost takes me out. Here goes the Blaze Kick. Is it good? And it went all the way! Yeah! That is a dead Frost Lass. Even though it's already dead, considering it's a ghost. But there we beat Price. And he gives us the Glacier Badge. Yeah, seven badges. Race special stats. Let me use Whirlpool outside. He's going to give us TM07, which is Hail. Really, who uses Hail in a playthrough? I can see people using Sandstorm, maybe, but not Hail. That's just pointless. I, I really don't see why they make moves like that TMs. Professor Elm? Uh, there's something weird being broadcast by Team Rocket? Well then. It looks like we gotta go take care of those suckers. You know, after we heal up. Restore my Pokemon, woman. They need to go save the day. I'm like a superhero. But, you know, my superhero is something that every well announced in this world has. But that is going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you wish to. And see you later.